Exercise 21. In this exercise, we take a look at some of the functionality used for sheet metal inside Pro Engineer. Uh, in, in this case, we're going to actually build a cylindrical shape and then also imprint some text in it, actually cutting through, and then wrapping it back up into a cylinder. So we begin by starting a new part file. And in this case, we're going to make sure we select under subtype sheet metal and go ahead and name it E21. Hit OK. OK. Now that we're in the sheet metal functionality, you can see the icons on the right look a little bit different than what we're familiar with generally. But they work pretty much the same way with respects to when you start a sketch and uh, draw the geometry. So let's go ahead and find the sketch tool on the right here. Go ahead and select it and select the front plane and start sketch. The tool we want to use for this actually is an arc tool. If we go over here to the uh, arc tools, unfortunately it gets kicked off of my screen here. But if you go two more to the right, you'll find center and ends. You want center and ends. And the way this works is you click in the center, drag out the circle, and we can zoom up there a little bit, click, and then the last click, we make sure that we get that little red line in between there. That's an indication that they're aligning to one another. Go ahead and click again. And this created a circle, not, not actually uh, just an, an arc, that has a little opening at the top. And for a cylindrical sheet metal park, th this works very well because you have to have an opening in it somewhere for it to unfold. So I'm going to middle click, and the dimension here that's between the two, actually I'm going to go ahead and position a dimension, well I guess we could use that. We'll just make that point zero one. You can see there's a tiny little gap if you zoom in there. Okay, So technically it's about 20, uh, 20 thousandths gap. You could even make it smaller if you like. Anyhow, then the diameter, or in this case the radius, we're going to go ahead and change that to 2.5. Alright, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to hit Done, and now I could extrude it. The Extrude tool is a little bit different, but yet the same when you're working in sheet metal. The difference is, is that in this case, sometimes it has a tendency to go ahead and try and extrude it as a surface. In this case, we don't want a surface. We actually want a solid. The reason why it shows as a surface was because there's actually a gap in it. Uh, in this case, if we go extrude as solid, it actually gives us a wall thickness we could put in. So in this case, let's go ahead and put in 0.06 or 60 thousandths for the, the thickness of the sheet metal. And you can see here it's actually creating that thickness. Also, for the depth, go ahead and put in 2.5. Now you are able to flip the side of the sheet metal, so if you click on this little button you can see it will either be on the outside or the inside. Sometimes if you have a very tight tolerance in between here, between the gap, you might want to try with the outside just because I've seen in the past where I think the uh, material sometimes might intersect or get a little too close for a pro-ease comfort. So flipping the switch might actually help that. But then again, make sure that you compensate in your sketch uh, the 2.5 inch radius that we put in. Okay, hit done. And now we have not really a 100% sheet metal part yet, but we are uh, about ready to try and fold it or flatten it. Now what you'd like what you want to use in this case is the unbend tool. By selecting that, the menu manager pops up and allows us to select a sketch or a transition. We just we're just going to go ahead and select regular and hit done. And then it allows us to select different types like the fixed geometry. The fixed geometry is wherever you want the placement of an edge to be stationary with the rest of everything rolling out from around it. So in this case we might want to select this bottom edge here as our fixed edge. And then that we have unbend selected or unbend all. In this case we could go ahead and unbend all. There's only one bend so it's not going to be a big factor. Go ahead and hit done. And if you zoom out you could do a preview and you could see it shows us that it's going to unfold from that position from our fixed geometry. Go ahead and hit OK. 
and now we can see that it's flattened out. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and sketch on this surface and put some text in there and then roll it back up. Uh, I used this once in designing a pizza oven. Uh, for the top, we put a little bit of, uh, we put a light inside this area and had a, a band around it and cut out was pizza uh, in the sheet metal. So it can be used for different things, a variety of different ways. What we want to do is we go ahead and go to the sketch tool, select this face as our sketch, plane, middle click, and now it wants some references. We can just go ahead and select some edges here. The more the merrier. And now we're going to go ahead and put the text in. Now the text tool over here, the A icon, will allow us to go ahead and draw the text from the base up. So if we want it centered somewhere, maybe we could put it right about here. Click and drag it up. And we get parameters and dimensions to locate it in reference to the edges that we selected as references. And we could affect those later. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just put in um, Elgin. Let's take a look to see if it looks pretty, pretty well centered. We could adjust these dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. I kind of like how it turned out. But there are other options. You could choose different fonts. Sometimes if the font is a little complex, or remember if it has a center area, like if it's an O, that might be an issue. It has to have some sort of connective material in between it. So uh, probably still will fold it up, though. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I want to go ahead and cut that material. So I go to Done extrude, and it knows to go to cut immediately. I just flip the arrow so it extrudes cut into the material. And I could just select through all, and done. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and fold it back up. So let's move over to that fixed edge, and we'll use that again. And over here, we instead of un um, unbend, there's a little arrow, and we find bend back. Bend back. Select that. Define the fixed geometry, which is basically the same edge that we used before. Of course, you could use a different one if you choose. And we could select bend back all. Hit done. And if you want, zoom out, preview it, and you could see the little preview what it shows us. Looks good. Hit OK. And now we have our sheet metal part.